even though it's winter, we still can have problems with rodents in the yard. Things like voles, moles, gophers are all still active, even though there's snow cover and there's freeze in the ground. Probably one of the most prevalent pests in the landscape in the winter are voles. What voles do is they don't hibernate and they run around and they love to eat seed. So if you feed the birds or have a lot of seed material left in the garden, they will actually make tunnels on the surface of the grass. So when the, under the snow, so when the snow disappears, you have all of these little serpentine tunnels where the grass has been chewed down to the nub and you think there's a lot of damage, but most of that will come back once the grass starts growing. But the voles can do damage to the bottom of trees and small shrubs. What they do there is they nest in the mulch. If your mulch is very thick, over six inches, and up against the bark of the tree, they will actually take off that bark of the tree to get the nutrients uh, underneath there. And that will allow that allow the tree to be harmed from uh, having that Camden bit into. So we need to protect both the tree and we need to also try to capture them away from the yard. Now, most bird feeders are gonna drop some types of seed. If you can make it so underneath the bird feeder, it's uh, not grass or soil, but gravel or cement or pavers, you'd be less likely to get voles. Uh, however, if you can't change that, you can trap the voles by using what's called a multi-catch trap. Just settle this trap under, underneath the bird feeder, put a little bit of bird seed on the entrance of the trap, and overnight you'll get them. Now, they will be alive when they're captured, but unless you move, uh, you know, move them quickly and release them, they will die overnight from the exposure to the cold, unlike they do other times. Another big pest from the outside that gets inside in the winter is deer mice. What deer mice do is that they'll find a way indoors. It's not always at the ground level. You can secure and exclude them at the ground level, but deer mice have the habit of climbing trees, climbing bricks, and climbing up to the top of homes and trying to find those small little areas where maybe two roof lines meet and get into the attic. Once in there, they can tunnel your insulation, they can leave a lot of defecation, and then they find their way down into the living quarters and get a nice meal. When it comes to deer mice in the home, you definitely want to clean up any of their droppings wet. Do not vacuum or sweep mouse droppings to prevent any disease transmission. Use a wet paper towel, a wet sponge, a wet cloth that has a disinfectant on it and clean up their droppings in a moisture situation, never sweeping, never vacuuming. To eliminate the mice from the home, the deer mice, you can use snap traps. Snap traps placed perpendicular to the wall. And what do you use for bait? Well, you can use grain for bait, peanut butter and a grain mixture, or maybe make little balls out of uh, bird seed and peanut butter and put them on a snap trap but snap traps work fairly well. Another one that works well, and is actually really humane, more humane than people think because the animal dies within three to four minutes if it's properly done, are the glue traps. Use the large tray glue traps and never put the bait in the glue. Put the bait in a bottle cap or some kind of uh, instrument and then put the bait on that in the middle of the glue trap, right in the center of the glue trap. Put the glue trap next to the wall the mouse will get into it, it'll get stuck, it'll try to get that glue off its paws, and what'll happen, that glue will get into its nostrils if it's a mouse, and it'll die fairly quickly. However, if you're using glue traps, make sure they're put into small boxes or containers so your pets and children don't get into the glue or larger animals don't get into the glue trap. Glue traps don't work very well outside, but they work great indoors, under refrigerators, under dishwashers, under kitchen cabinets, and they are very efficient at catching the mice if you don't want to use uh, the snap traps. Now, a lot of people confuse voles and moles. Voles are the ones that are gonna be on the surface running and making those grooves under the snow. Moles, this time of year, will be underground. 
and if the ground gets thawed enough, they will push soil up. So if moles are active in the winter, you see mounds of soil coming up when we have warm days. And if that happens, you can try to use a, some of the toxicants, but they don't work very well in the freezing weather. And so with moles, you may have to wait until the spring to control them. However, the voles, the ones that do not push up the mounds of dirt, you can take care of with those box traps we talked about.